Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Modern Mayhem. If you know from Commander, I love my counterbalance. So, with that in mind, of course, I had to play this list. Uh, this deck list was originally by Funk, who did a 5-0, and, uh, uh, and, and that's, that's obviously amazing. This is blue-white control, well, pretty much blue-white splash red for like wear, tear, and alpine moon, essentially. But uh, pretty much just pure blue-white otherwise. And it's all about using counterbalance. We've now got a few cards in the deck to lock people out. Kind of like our Sensei's Divining Top, but we kind of have to build our own top. Counterbalance on its own, as you know, is a blue-blue enchantment. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may reveal the top card of your library if you do counter that spell. If it has the same CMC. Uh, Brainstone from Modern Horizons 2. One mana, and then two mana to activate and sack. Draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. So this, we pretty much have one, two, and three. Those are our, and a six for Terminus. So those are our mana cost, our CMCs. And then, of course, we've got Omen of the Sea to kind of do a little bit more of the, like, you know, the scrying that we need, putting whatever card we want on top first, and then leaving the card that we want to counter with underneath that card. Uh, that'll then, so it's another way to, like, kind of top. We have scrying. We have tons of ways to manipulate the top of our library. And then, of course, with Luris, we're able to reoccur Brainstone or Omen of the Sea, thus kind of forever locking our opponents out of one, two, and three, and maybe even six. So, uh, pretty solid. Otherwise, how are we winning? We've got Snapcaster Mage and Hall of Storm Giants. So, these are our three win conditions. That's it. We can't really go too wild because, you know, Luris is restriction, so we don't get Planeswalkers or anything like that. Uh, other than that, I mean, you saw on the sideboard, the only thing that wasn't self-explanatory was the Kozilek, or maybe you can already figure it out. The Kozilek is there just so that we can uh, destroy mill decks. Well, not destroy, but we just don't lose to mill as we get to shuffle our stuff back into our library. So yeah, thank you for watching this intro. Let's get right to the gameplay. Magic the Gathering's new set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, is up now at cardkingdom.com for order, so head on over there to get your adventures started. Uh, I'll keep. I think this is cool. I mean, I think I'm going first. I'm on the play. I've got double counterbalance. So, like, that's pretty fun. I have four lands, so I could potentially go Hollowed Fountain into, into counterbalance, uh, island counterbalance, play Flooded Strand. If we don't like what's on top, with double counterbalance, we can trigger two different counterbalances. That's all the things I could ever ask for. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Okay. Uh, yep. That's gonna hurt. Omen of the sea on top. All right. I'm already sad. Uh, okay. Well, counterbalance. Pass. We're gonna see if we get there. I mean, I don't know what's on top, but I have to assume majority of my deck is pretty good against this. As long as I don't reveal a land. Uh, okay. Well... Nice, counterbalance on top, very strong. Power play, cool, blind counterbalance flips are always good, sure. That's so funny to me. <laughs> okay, um, how do I go about, I, okay, so two counterbalances or Omen of the Sea scry. We'll just go ahead and pass. So they know about Omen of the Sea. That's, that's gonna happen one way or the other. Do they attack here? All right, drew a land, that's good. Now let's see what happens. Am I gonna take like a Boros Charm to the face here or something like that? I'm not really sure. We get Rogren Triome. Let's go ahead and let's fetch. All right, let's take a look what's on top. Move this to the bottom of the library, this to the top of the library. Oh, whoops, I just did that wrong, oops. And it doesn't matter because we were rewarded anyways. And here comes two damage or a, a two mana Two mana spell. Uh, no, I don't want to use Path's ability, so I'm going to go down to 10 one way or the other. We're going to play another counterbalance, and we're just going to hopefully lock out Burn <laughs> with blind counterbalance. This is such a troll. We're not even winning. Okay, uh, let's go to combat. What is it? Mishra's Bobble. Okay, that's not great. I'm just going to path here. So now we see what they do next, right? They're probably going to go and cast some burn spells at us. Um, what do I want to, I'll probably want to opt here. Opt. So move the bobble to the bottom. Oh, it's opt. Okay. So we're down to seven. Not great. Oh, and a skewer. That's so good. That's a, that gets around opt. Wow. Uh, no, don't want that. So we're good there. Oh, it's okay. We're just comfortably at four. What's the worst that could happen? Can they even deal four damage? Especially not for two mana. Not at all. No, sir. Rebob. All right, now we pass. I, I may, I should have maybe left up the mana, the omen, 
Well, uh, let's see. Let's have the first one go off, okay? It's a steam vent, so we're gonna move that to the bottom. All right, now we're hoping that we hit a two here. We did not, so we're dead. GG's, GG's. Just did not get there. Boros Charm did it. Uh, let's change things up here. Cards like Chalice are pretty good. Buster Storm, Matic Ending, not bad. Probably still want a second. No, really that good. Counterbalance, I want all three. That was pretty funny, I'll admit, but like it, it didn't do a lot, but it was funny. Um. All right, we're taking the play again. Hopefully this time we have more to say about our opponent's shenanigans. No counterbalance, however. Two lands, a little scary, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and play. Next turn we can shock if we need to. Uh, hopefully it's a goblin guide that can get us another land or two. Interesting, okay. Is there anything I'm actually afraid of for two mana? So it looks like I'm getting bolted. Yep. So no need to shock here, we'll just pass. Blossoming Calm is kind of like our Veil of Summer, but against Burn. Broiling Vortex, well, maybe I didn't prepare for that. That's a little awkward, okay? Oh, well, I guess we could just answer it, also a thing. I don't wanna overpay here, so I wanna get rid of that. X is currently one, am I overpaying this? No, yeah, okay, I think this should be good. All right, cool. So I should, I, there we go. Now we just pass. We got rid of their turn two play, which was probably the best thing they could have had against us. Granted that they could just have another one. Draw me a land. Draw me a land. It's opt. Sure, we'll take two. Why not? Uh, let's just go ahead and give myself hexproof. And so that should allow me to protect myself against any of their shenanigans. They have to bolt me again. They don't have skull crack mana this turn. So I've fogged the, the goblin guide. Exhausted them of two burn spells here. Rebound. All right, sweet. Now we can go ahead and pass. What's next here? What am I afraid of from this opponent? Obviously they're burn spells, but I'm at 15 right now, so I'm feeling pretty healthy. Grand, that could all change real quick. You know what? I'm just gonna pass. Let's get rid of this goblin guide. It's just gonna sit there and do no uh, just keep hitting me, right? They're gonna keep chipping at me the whole time. Rest in peace, does that matter? Really, sure, you got it. We only have two Snapcasters, so that's fine. Our victories are very slow and miserable, so the way we're gonna probably play this, they have a bunch of random hate cards that don't really do much against us, that's good. I probably could have just played Luris to get uh, the body in hand. I don't wanna go and, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna actually tap out on my mana though, I, I wanna make sure that I have that card I do care about, however. Oh right, L rest in peace shuts off my Luris, but I don't know if I really care about that. Sure, take four, you got it. Uh, I guess this is gonna resolve, unfortunately. Uh, I'm probably just gonna end up drawing a card here. I guess if I find Snapcaster, I could just start dropping it on the board and attacking with it. Um, we're going down to nine here. Let's see, what can I do? I probably wanna just opt. No free spells or else I get in trouble. Yeah, I probably gotta counter this. Or I could put it on one, down to eight here. I think I need to put it on, if I, if I put it on two, I can't play anything. Oh, perfect, this is exactly what I needed. Uh, blue, white, so we'll go ahead and add that. Uh, hello? Why can't I exile that? All right, that should be good. Putting it on two shuts me off Counterspell, Snapcaster, and lots of other stuff. And then next turn, I can go ahead and just put Luris into hand. All right, they don't have anything, so I'm just gonna put Luris into hand, and then I'm gonna play it immediately. Uh, white, white. So they can't just bolt this. They have to two mana removal this, which I'm okay with. We have a lot of lands. There's no shortage here for lands. I hope they draw every one mana spell they can find. Unfortunately, Skewer is still three. Roiling Vortex yet again. But the good news is I can actually just kill them pretty soon here. I go down to seven. Yeah, so this is where the wear and tears would come in. Sure, so now that they're down to eight, go and cast o uh, Omen of the Sea here. They clearly have something, right? They must, or else they wouldn't be tanking here. Oh my lord, that is... Hold on, actually let me think about this. Put this on the bottom. Have I played a land this turn? I have not, I drew this. So next turn they're dead. Okay, so I'm gonna play Hall of the, the Storm Giants and then we're just gonna go ahead and attack, or hope that we can attack. Cause the Vortex puts them exactly at seven. Cool, so Goblin Guide gets countered. They can't block. So it has to be Eidolon that blocks here. So Wear and Tear is definitely coming back in in the next game. Sure, I can't gain life, and that's it. We go to the next game. Perfect, got it. Although they are playing to their outs here. As long as you're playing against me, it's always, there's a chance that I just lose. To usually Moto, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Patience, there we go, 10 damage. Cool, that was exactly what I wanted. I don't, I don't think they ever played anything more than like one to two lands, or one to two creatures. Roiling Vortex, huh? You like that card that much? 
We are on the draw. This is a lot scarier on the draw here. Got a one lander, so that feels absolutely as bad as it could. So we're gonna mulligan. Two copies of Terminus in my hand, so that's also pretty bad, but I guess I can put one back. And then hopefully the fetching shuffles it away. No one drop, no one drop. Dang it, they had a one drop. Okay. If we can find a brainstone, then I can at least like push this back, uh, this terminus back on top. Or a path, that works. All right, at the pass. And we're gonna probably get a, like a, an island with Misty. Oh, that's fine, sure. This would prevent more damage. So you got it, here you go, buddy. They are gonna get ahead on the resources here. We are in need of something like a land. They can keep this, we take one, right? It's as if the thingamabobber hit me anyways, but I'm not as worried about it. Plus I have the tear here, so I could do it at the end of their turn. I'm not gonna deploy the, the chalice yet. We're still in need of one mana answers, so probably not a good idea to just start blocking ourselves out. I could put it on two and like really flex on the opponent, but I don't think that's the timeline I'm on yet. Oddly enough, I kinda need Goblin Guide to resolve, I think. Yeah. Perfect. It's like I shocked it in. It's fine. Totally. I'm down to 10. Yeah. Down to seven. Hmm. If I don't counter that, that actually really hurts. I guess that's okay for now. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Down to seven. All right. What do I do now? That's exactly what I needed. Shocking this in would put me at five. That's pretty dangerous, but I think I have to, so pass. Now they're just going to double up spells, and I'm hoping that I could play Chalice of the Void or something. Got to counter that. I guess we can pass again, or we dig for a land. Quite dangerous digging for a land here. We just have another land or something like that, or probably like a Boros charm. Okay, let's go digging. I need, I need something to draw here, like a land specifically. Sure, as long as we don't die this turn, I think we're okay. Oh my God, they just keep drawing these roiling vortexes. How do they keep getting so many? All right, well, let's hope that we don't die here. That's all of them, right? They drew every roiling vortex? Unlucky, unlucky. All right, well, I need the land, so unfortunately I've just got to take it. So I fall to three here, so that means lots of things kill me. All right, so do we scry here? I guess we could. I'm gonna just take a shot. I'm gonna see if they have anything because I'm dead either way. They got it, GG's, good game. Okay, hopefully this time it works out a little bit better. First game was unfortunate game three. We didn't really get to do much. Uh, this looks like we're going to do a lot more of nothing. I'm on the play though. You know what, I'll, I'll just keep it in hopes that we draw something useful to do. Okay, so let's play Rogren Trium and pass. We're going to F6 through whatever it is they're doing. They got it. What is this, some kind of like free spell stuff? Oh, it could be a mirror match or some kind of control deck. Yep. Could be elementals. Uh, what do I draw here? Will the game reward me with a spell or will I get another land? Why do they want to set something on my upkeep? Do they have a fr they must have a free creature spell that has flash. Okay, we pass again. Nothing to do. The old land go. Yeah, bobble. What do they target? They targeted themselves. Okay. What they're playing though, that's the problem. Guess we'll find out. Is it mono? It's not mono blue Tron. I mean, come on now. That's just ridiculous. All right, let's see if this works. We need a counterbalance to shut off all their shenanigans. Well, this might just be blue red. Straight up just blue red. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, sure. So here comes Merktide or something like that probably. Oh yeah, you got it. I'll just steal that. Which will then force them to use their mana or react to me in some way. Yep, great. I'm gonna play my land tapped. I don't see a need for me to do it untapped. Not in a rush for anything. All right, pass. And now that we've got the, if they don't do anything, we just keep scrying. Or I get saucy. I put Luris into hand. I'll just put Luris into hand. Let's see how this plays out. This way, if they play like Murktide, I'll have the answer to counter them. You know, like I'll, I'll counter it. And if they say no, then I hopefully will be able to path it. However, they will be able to blow up my Luris pretty quick. So I got to make sure I have something in the yard for me to use. Uh, Murktide, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, you got it. Go for it. Now we have to fight for the counterspell war here. I want them to use their mana, so play this Field of Ruin pass. They have to probably be wondering what the hell's in my hand. They're gonna draw. Hopefully they have nothing of value here, so let them go to combat. That's fine. And now with that mana, I can just pretty much sit here and pull up counter magic. Go for it. Fire bluff. Play. Seems good. I'm going to go ahead and start scrying. They have nothing that I'm too worried about if they flash in Snapcaster or whatever. Oh, I want both of these. So put on top, put on top. All right. Definitely do not use Field of Ruin this round. Pass. I should have probably put Snapcaster on top first. That would then give me a body to start pressuring them. I can use a counter spell for that. Uh, they, they kept it on top. Or no, they put Spire bluff into the graveyard, huh? Sure. Who do they target? They targeted us. Let's take a look at our top two. We know what some of them already are. And now we're going to go ahead and just pass. Pass again. Do everything on their turn. I have no, cons uh, no need to do anything right now. Snapcaster. 
Okay, so we'll just path here. Their turn. I don't mind them counterspelling me because I have the ability now to play Snapcaster off the Lurus. Uh, put on top, put on top. I like both of these. Ah, target me, that's pretty good. Getting aggressive with these, uh, with these mills, huh? I don't want to give them the option of potentially doing something here, so... Let's scry. Oh, bottom, bottom, both of those. That's pretty good. That answers a good amount of the stuff I'd like. Hey, how many more lands? Do, how many lands do these decks play overall? That's going to be a big, uh, big thing for me here. So let me take a look while I figure this out. Um, pop, you know, we're going to use the premier magic website at <laughs> MTG Goldfish. I'm pretty sure they probably only have one to two more basics at most. Okay, you got it. They're going to draw some more cards. It's okay with me. Okay, so they don't have any more basics. That's all their basics right there. They probably drew a mountain if they have another basic. Otherwise, yeah, that's it for them. Uh, don't really care if they tap out and, like, summon something. So, sure, go for it. I'm just going to scry. Bottom, bottom. That Thought Scourer was really good. Go for it. They definitely have Snapcaster, by the way. There is no doubt in my mind that they have a Snapcaster. Uh, sure, it's fine. Let's just go ahead and cast Path. And we're going to go ahead and counter that. Maybe they play something else here. That's fine. Uh, can we draw any more cards? Let's see. Oh, those are all useless. I drew another land anyways. That feels kind of bad. All right. Well, now we're going to go ahead and play Counterbalance. If this resolves, we get a decent amount of their stuff. Sure, they milled two lands. It's great news for me. They have whatever Scorched Heat or whatever to like really dunk me here. So I'm going to wait. I have my Scry land. I have my Omen. Uh, move that to the bottom. Archmage's Charm. Put that on top. I won't use this ability. Perfect. Okay, no, I won't. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Okay, yes. Revealed Counterspell off the top like a pro. All skill. All skill. I have 34 cards in library. They have 17. Yep, you got it. Go for it again. This is their turn to pop off. Okay, we're gonna try to resolve Luris. And now I'm going to try to play Snapcaster. Let's see how this goes. They're probably just going to blow up my... Yeah, sure, you got it. Nice. It was Brainstone off the top. And now we just, like, lock them out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lol, K. <laughs> oh, let's see. What do I... <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty good. Archmages is decent. I don't remember seeing any enchantments or artifacts that would be good. Use that on, so... All right. I think Chalice seems good against them. If you set Chalice on one, can they beat that? They have to abrade. Oh, this is a banger. Oh, this is a banger, yeah. Okay, I love this hand. It doesn't actually interact with Monkey. Let's just hope they don't have turn one Monkey. Please don't have turn one Monkey. Oh, it's turn one Monkey! No! Let's do this first. Let's fetch Shock. What, what did I see? What, what was the top card? Hold on, I, I didn't get to see it. Oh, was it a, just an opt? Okay. All right, let's hope this goes well. Because we got to beat Monkey. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I wanted that one. I'll be honest. So they've got three mana courtesy of Monkey here. I'm going to wait a little bit. I don't think we need to jam this, uh, this uh, counterbalance right away. Not when they've got Monkey and they're already kind of just like waiting. They're just going to sit here and just keep generating more value with Monkey. And I need to be able to fight it. Counter spell. Well, that's good. Go for it. Yup. I'm going to cast Omen, see if they want to counter it or not. But then that puts them on one mana, and I'm okay with that. Of course, Mystical Dispute will be very good, but this forces them to use a treasure. And they already are very far ahead on resources, so they're not too worried about that. I'm going to try to steal Monkey. They're probably going to kill it or counter me. GG! Can't beat that. That's so good. Monkey is so good. Uh, can I beat them from here? This keeps hitting me. They don't have to do anything. They kind of just sit and chill. Uh, they've now hit my Mystical Dispute, but on the brighter side, I'm now just going to play Tap Out. Most of the time, they're going to hit most of my counter spells anyways. What does that mean for us? They cast that. I mean, I'm just going to try to Mystical Dispute here so I don't lose to another body. That's pretty good. So we're not completely out of it here. I could still get lucky, draw something like a, uh, a Terminus. Can't pay that, so you got me there. Let's see. How do we beat Monkey? Can we beat Monkey? Probably not. I have to draw Terminus. And then I'm going to have to hope that it resolves this turn. Uh, don't let me draw yet. Don't let me draw yet. Brighter side, I get to now. They finally hit a land. We're going to wait until combat steps so they don't just get to keep playing more uh, monkeys and hitting us. All right, do I fight for this? Because they're going to counter me every step of the way. Wait, what? How did this not... What did I draw from this turn? Can I not miracle this? Oh, whoops. That sucks. So I can't miracle that. GG's. All right, we'll go to the next one. That is unfortunate. 
All right, let's try this again. Ooh, no lander, love it. But I have interaction. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna be super greedy. And maybe I get punished for it. Oh, I'm in trouble. They kept a seven, that was really good. Or else they wouldn't have said good luck. I've drawn a land, thankfully. I'm not gonna ramp them. I'm gonna let them just do their thing here. But let's see how they surveil here. Do they like this card on top? Merc tied in the yard, huh? Land, I'm a pro. All right, pass. They know I have a counter spell, so I, and I am gonna definitely make them fight for it, so here we go. They can Mystical Dispute me back. Fine, they resolve another DRC, that's good. All right, pass. So now I've got my one mana open, I can counter something. I might need to hold, uh, fetch a basic here, like get an island for like their eventual Blood Moon. Because I think this deck does play Blood Moon. They got Misty. Check. They're fetching. Oh yeah, sure, you got it, buddy. Like a pro, I drew all the lands when I needed them. Oh, what do I want to do here? Grab another island just in case, right? Blood Moon once again, a real card. In the event they boil me this turn, it's which will hurt. First thing we're gonna do is gonna force them to counter. And so I'm gonna just counter whatever they play next. I mean, that is a threat. All right, so they scried two, puts one on the bottom, one on top. Seems good. We want to just keep playing land so that we can get to Hall of the Storm Giants. They have four mana, they have five, like they kept a really strong opener. Right, like it's quite apparent they've kept a strong opener. So this will force a counter spell out of them, at least a counter spell, because they can't just man uh, dispute me because dispute I can pay for. We're going to combat here. It looks like they're getting close to like holy heat or something like that. All right, down to ten. I like this. Good old Snapcaster beats. Uh, sure, you got it. They could choose to pop the lantern or not. Up to them. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and play counterbalance. Sure, seems good. They've got they've got a lot of counters. That's fine. I kind of want to see if I could steal this, but I don't want to give Mystical Dispute value. Because there's no doubt in my mind they have Mystical Dispute. All right, there goes Monkey. I'm literally just now going to beat them with this 7-7. And I know they can't pay for it. They can block, that's okay with me, but... They can't, yeah, they can't steal it. So it's got Ward. They're down to three. Sure. They need a block. I don't know how much they're going to be trying to attack here. One on top, one on bottom. Uh, let's see, how do we go about this? So, now that we've got that mana, right? Like, so, what's the worst they could do here? They flash in Snapcaster, they block. They can't steal. Ward protects that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. I mean, there's really no reason not to. I'm just gonna keep attacking. Yep, Snapcaster block seems good. They, now they mill, right? They've got a block. Sure. Their out is for them to play monkey, connect, and then hope that they can hit, I think, hit a path, which I hope they don't hit, but I have a Terminus in hand, so I need that to resolve. Sure, draw two more cards. Okay, seems good. This looks like more Snapcaster shenanigans. Uh, we just push again, right? We just keep attacking. Snapcaster again, go for it. Sure, they're gonna bolt me, you got it. Or maybe they try to bolt the giant, that'd be amazing. We just keep attacking every turn here. I'm hoping I could find one more land. Like legitimately one more land would save us. In case they play a bunch of Merc Tides, I can just go ahead and Terminus and counter back maybe. Can't shock that in, so that's a tap land for sure. Here comes Merc Tide. Can I draw a land? I really do need a land here. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, three. I guess I could just cast this. Hold on, three. Let's see how this plays out. Hold on, so cast one spor spell before, so I have to pay two, correct? Uh, okay. Let me think here, how does this work? Is this only two spells have been cast so far? That's another fluster. That's so weird. Why would, why would you bring that in against me? I was not ready for that. I die this turn if they have the vault. Uh, nope, can't pay for it. So you got it. And now I'm dead because I go to three, right? I have to somehow kill this Murktide block, right? There, there's a lot that has to go on here for me to, to win here. DRC, you got it. I guess like the odds are I have to find an answer for Dragon Rage Channeler and then, or a sweeper again. Let's see, how does this work for me? Does this resolve? Okay, need this to stick. In order for it to stick, I have to then go and play Counterspell, right? Hope this resolves. First, let's see what I guess they throw away. Sure. Maybe I can block. Oh crap, wait. Oh, whoops. We're now down to another line. We only have one line exactly. So I have four types. A creature, instant, land, sorcery. Does this have trample or something like that? No. Okay, cool. Did they leave it on top? Puts that card into the graveyard. Oh boy. Let's see, what do they get? We needed a path at any point here. Oh uh, boy, can't they just have like all lands or something like that? GG's.
Well, we've had some pretty decent games. We haven't won any of our matches, but we've won some games and that's nice. We just, I think the issue is like, we aren't getting our, our counterbalances. In the matches, obviously where we have counterbalance, it's a whole different game, but Obosh. So yeah, this is gonna be some kind of mono red burn aggro deck that we've been seeing run around recently. So yeah, we're gonna probably try to play it safe here. I'm gonna definitely play Mystic Gate, put in Brainstone. So what do they play here? They play Raghavan. That's their one drop, right? Yeah, that's their one drop, okay. They have Hammer of uh, Bogarden, which, by the way, is, I believe, constantly reoccurring for five mana, so that's hard to beat. Uh, we can pass. Uh, I'm gonna get a Hollowed Fountain here. Hopefully this works out. Or maybe we don't even- no, we should. We should Hollowed Fountain, because I do want to fire off Omen here before they start setting up. All right, let's fetch. Uh, play Island, do this thing. Both of these on the bottom. I need something like Counterbalance. All right, pass. That's pretty good. See how this goes. Oddly, the, the third blue source doesn't actually hurt as much as you would think. Go for it. And now give me, I want it. And so now I could actually path my own thing if I wanted to really get some lands going, but I don't think I do. So we're just gonna go ahead and get in there. We have a win con now. Look at us go. They are very desperately looking for a third land because they need to play this giant, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and path it. Concern though is pathing it gives them a land and I don't know how much I like that. They do play 20 lands plus four MDFCs, but the MDFCs are spike field hazard. And I'm not gonna blow up that land of theirs that they want to have blown up. So then they have double red. If they exile a red card, they can evoke fury. Flame slash, sure. All right, let's crack this land. Let's start drawing some cards. Let's fetch an island. Where is my Luris? Did I not get a companion this game? That's great news, okay. Where'd my companion go? Oh, I, th I clicked it. Oh my God, Moto versus me again. Uh-huh, Bone Crusher, you got it. I'm gonna draw some cards. I don't have my Luris, which is slightly problematic because then I'd be able to get Brainstone back. Yep, so I'm gonna take more damage here, unfortunately. This gets them the land, which I don't like. Light up the stage. So no land. They do play Swift Spear. That's fine with me. They have until their next turn to play both. You got it. Bottom that, we really don't need any more lands. Actually, that's actually, that, that's like kind of useful. So hell yeah, sign me up. And I think I'm taking one here, right? Because they're going to probably try to draw some more cards, play that, all their shenanigans, and I'm going to have to pretty much leave up mana. Counterbalance, where are you? You're needed. Okay. Maybe they stomp or something like that. Hammer of a garden. If I'm a pro gamer, I will draw something right now off the top. I mean, I may as well just pop this omen, right? Because I have no, no reason to do, to keep it anymore. Some odd reason Luris isn't here. Oh, there goes Blood Moon. That's good. Well, now I'm very happy about our decisions today. I like both of these, so sure. Oh, crud. I shouldn't have tapped the second white. I need to leave up one white for if they play monkey. If they if they have monkey here, all they have to do is just dash it in. Oh boy, if they if they actually have the blood moon here, that's gonna be problematic. Oh, giant. Just straight up casting giant. That's fine. Alright, in my upkeep. Oh boy, do I want both of these? I mean, is an answer, but it gets them two more lands. Uh, drew a land. All right, so this actually is a lot better. Now that we can consider that if they try to play anything saucy here, we, we do have Archmage's Charms in the deck, but unfortunately they're all in hand. So the only other three drop I have, I think, is Wear and Tear with both on the stack. I'm gonna go down to six, they hammer Bogadar, Bogarden me, and then I'm in trouble again. I have no fast way of killing them, that's the problem. I can't let anything resolve either. I think I have to fetch, I have a lot of one drops at the bottom of my deck right now, because I just put double path down there. Put me down to three, pretty problematic. Flooded Strand is on top, so we're in a lot of trouble. They have me dead, they have me dead, I haven't done anything. I can't do anything. Double Bolt kills me, you got it, that's Double Bolt, concede. We are really, really rough on win conditions, what the heck? Where's my companion? Oh, here it is. So now we've got to try to survive long enough, which is problematic because they don't take out Stomp. Stomp's still very good for them. All right, we play Brainstone. Pass. Cutting myself off Archmage's Charm could be painful here. Cutting them off three mana seems pretty good. Cutting them off a one drop after I play enough paths and stuff like that, not bad. I guess I'm going to go ahead and start cracking my lands. Uh, this will hopefully draw me into some more lands because... Lord knows I need it. Maybe we take a bolt or something to the face here. That's fine. We're currently landlocked unless I cast Archmage's Charm to draw something. So that looks like that's going to be the line. Uh, that's fine. I have to draw this turn. Uh, really bad drawing that one. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we're going to give him a land. 
Not great. Really not great here. But we missed out on another land drop. If we put Chalice on three, we really do cut off a chunk of their deck, don't we? Hammer's cut off. These and Pyromancer's cut off. Bone Crusher Giant's cut off. Village is cut off. I need six mana to put it on three. I'm at three. So we are very far from making that happen. Please hurry up. I don't know what they're tanking on. Like, are they, they should just play a creature, right? And hit me. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. Oh, they just put Obosh in the hand. Okay. Maybe I'll draw a land this turn. Who knows? Nope. Instead, I'll draw a six drop that I never want to draw unless there's a bunch of creatures. I'm going to discard anyways. It doesn't do anything, but whatever. Because, like, it's, I discard a card anyways, and at least I get to use the card in my hand. And that way I get value off of it. And I'm hoping at some point I can draw Brainstone or something to put these cards away. Or put the two Terminus in hand away. If they tap out and pay five for Obosh, that's great news. Sure. Not going to fight that. Well, I probably have to fight that one. If they have a land here and they Blood Moon me again, I'm dead. I'm down to seven now, with not really a close game at all in sight. This one has been pretty rough. The other two were a lot closer. Even the Burned App matchup was a lot closer. This one, we just kind of got stuck and threw all the things at the wrong time. I think I am going to put this on one now, though. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Good game. Where, okay, I'm, I'm going up to four counterbalances. I feel like I draw the singleton counterbalance more in Commander than I do in this format. What the heck? <laughs> Um, no companion. I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. I don't want to like not draw lands like I did the last game. All right. What is, oh, probably just blue red again, right? Yeah, it's probably just blue red again. Okay, there we go. Now I get to actually draw and do stuff here. So this will be fun. Oh uh, boy. What is this? What shenanigans is this? This is some kind of like, oh wait, is this like ad nauseum? Does that still exist? I can't believe it does. I mean, well, it clearly does it's right in front of me. I hope that this is enough mana because, I mean, let me think here. I have Omen of the Sea. What gets me out of this? So Ad Nauseum's five. Or Phyrexian on life, I'll never, I'll never kill you with damage. I believe Counterbalance gets around split second? I just got to find a way to keep uh, a one drop on top. Bottom, but on top. One, two, three, four, five. So this upcoming turn, they could pop off. I would essentially have to wait till turn five. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. So I'm going to just play counterbalance now. But I guess it doesn't matter because it, they probably have a way to kill me anyways, right? Because, like, they can draw their whole deck. They don't lose anyways. The only difference is I can actually counter them back. Oh, uh, boy. I'm going to play this fetch land. I'm going to wait. We have a few ways to trigger counterbalance here, depending on the number of spells they're going to play. So first, we have Omen of the Sea, right? To scry two. Do I have a five drop? No, I don't have a five drop. So they're just going to reveal cards. So they're going to draw their whole deck, right? Like I have no five drops that could stop this. I need to be able to stop Assault Storm. They go all the way to zero or one or something like that. Sure. They have Pact and Negation. They have Thassa's Oracle. How many Pact and Negations is that? So I just have to stop Thassa's Oracle. Oh, that's so good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Prismatic ending is a bit brutal. Oh, well, there it goes. I can't, I couldn't, I can't do anything anyway, so they got it this round. GG's, now they just play their Oracle and we lose. Okay, Force of Negation even matter here? Yeah, actually, no, it's, it's decent. Chalice on zero is pretty nice. That means no Tutor, no Lotus Bloom, no none of that. So I guess I want Wear and Tear, right? That gives me something to kill. I guess I can leave in Mishra's Bobble to hopefully dig for more. All right, let's try this again. This hand's terrible. I'm gonna mulligan. Hand's also terrible, but not as bad, I guess, so bottom that. Why don't we go ahead and just play Brainstone here and hope that this works out for us. That first hand was a bunch of lands, two counterspells that probably wouldn't do enough. I need to find counterbalance. That's the only thing that keeps me in the game, and I have to find it early. Did I draw land? Come on. All right, drew the land like a pro pass. That's exactly what I needed. So Lotus Bloom's about to hit pretty soon, and unfortunately, we got to figure this out quick because I need to be able to answer. I want to find Chalice on zero. Okay, let's try this now. Yeah, for zero. I counter my baubles here, but whatever. So no Lotus Bloom, no Infernal Tutor. They're going to do everything the normal way. Uh, top of library, bottom of library. Let's draw for turn. Counterbalance, please. Mishra's Bobble, not useful. But I'll play the land. I can't play it, by the way, for those that are asking. It's just going to get countered by my own Chalice, because that's both players. Okay, two Lotus Blooms gone. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's fetch. No, Rogran Triome. Now let's go ahead and pop on top. On top, I guess? Sure, both. I'll take both. I can't actually kill them yet, but maybe just a Hall of Storm Giants is good enough. We know Force of Negation is somewhere at the top of the library here. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just cast this opt because I need to uh, pull this card off the top of my library. I do want it. All right, that's not bad. So pact negation doesn't work on us, so that's good. They can't just pact us anymore. So they're going for it again. Sure, I'll just counter this. Why not? Because they're gonna draw their whole deck. They're gonna try to prismatic ending, and then all their packs are gonna go off again, right? I, I don't want that. So are they even close to like animating anything? Probably not. Go and fetch. Just in case they decide they try to blood moon me or something silly like that. Let's go ahead and get an island. Maybe I should have gotten a planes. Put that in hand. Okay, so now I have force and negation plus counterspell. Exactly what I want. And then next turn I could just play Luris, putting into play the brainstone. And we present the clock. All right, does this resolve? I mean, they can cast pact and negation. I'm okay with that. And now we brainstone again. They're more than welcome to counter this. I'm okay with that. Three, six, seven, sure. I mean, yeah, it resolves. I have nothing to say about it, so go for it. They already going for it? If I counter this. Okay, so they got profane tutor. Sure. All right, so what now? Are they dead? Do they have another spoils from the vault? I don't think they do. Perfect, okay. Let's go digging here. Counter spell's pretty good. I want that on top, bottom. Okay, now we go counterbalance and we continue to lock them out. And let's get in for three. They're down to one card here. We do have the counter spell. Spoils the Vault was probably their way of trying to immediately exile their library, call it a day. We've still got some time on them. Uh, I guess we go to combat, right? I mean, no reason not to. They're just gonna sit there with that Thassa's Oracle, I, I assume until they're able to win or bounce it back some way, sh uh, shape or form. Now let's do this. Oh, that's pretty good. With a second counterbalance, that means we get two activations. And now we pass. So we're hoping that we just assemble enough cards here to just lock them out entirely. So I believe wear and tear counts as three on the top. Nope, nope, okay. We can just blow that up too, by the way. Carnage Tyrant, right, right on, right on, right on, okay. Uh, no. Oddly enough, I can block it though, so that's good. Yeah, we could block it by just playing, uh, ooh, these are all bad, okay. Three, six, so I can animate this land, and then we just keep going to combat. This is not that major, right? Because we can animate the land, we can trade. That's not too bad. They're not going to attack. Do I not just win this race? If they just play Carnage Tyrant, I think I still win this race. Two Carnage Tyrants, however, I, I, I can't beat, so let's just hope that's not the case ever. I hate this card. Oh, boy. Chalice on zero means Pact is off. Yeah, I've got to counter that. I don't trust the, my spells here to work for me, so no. Remember, we want them to attack here. If they attack, that's kind of good news. We win that race. All right, sweet. Uh, maybe I just do this, actually. I play Brainstone again. We go to combat now, attack, so that puts me slightly back in it again. I can animate at some point when I need to. Path this Thassa's Oracle when I have to. Sure. So now I'm down, if they hit me again, I swing with the land, and I hope that's good enough. All right, perfect. Draw that land, or that uh, one drop, not the, the bobble. Okay, sure, you got it, yes. Okay, so now I can go ahead and play as I want to. I'm willing to bet anything that that last card in their hand is a Pact of Negation. All right, so they're down to three here. They attack, I don't have to animate my land anymore. I can just kill them by attacking with Luris. Okay, that seems good. I'm down to five. Can they burn me out this turn? I guess we go to combat, sure. Well, what are they casting? Oh, they probably just realized they were dead anyways. Okay, counterbalance early, love it. All right, I'm keeping this hand. All right, let's see how this plays. They're going temple first turn, that's fine. I think I'm gonna go Misty, then I can leave up the ability here to go and just go get Rogren Triome. Lotus Bloom has entered the exile zone, cool. We might need this just to blow up an artifact, so I'm gonna go actually go get Steam Vents first, play Brainstone Pass. Then we're gonna Shock, play Island. I mean, Shock, Hollowed Fountain in, play Counterbalance, hope that, that we flip something that costs zero. All right, we pass. And now we hope and pray that they don't just go like land, uh, like Thassa's Oracle plus Divine Consultation. Uh, I probably wanna play this Field of Ruin. Yeah, I'll play the Field of Ruin, pass. So now they can cast it, right? That's on the stack, so let's do this. Yes, so we counter the Lotus Bloom, check. I don't actually wanna draw any cards here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Uh, actually, you know what, it's fine, right? I mean, put this in, see what happens next turn. I mean, if they cast their Infernal Tutor, it's gonna get countered. That's two counters, right? So it's free to cast now. Sweet, so that gets countered. I don't have to put anything on top, perfection. Let's see, what do we draw here? So top, bottom, bottom. 
What was revealed? Mishra's bobbled a clear water pathway, so they're getting a land. Now we're just going to continue to try to lock them out here. So we have Brainstone yet again. Keep them on lock. Let's see if I can get a land back on top. Sure, I can. So let's make sure that it's the cor this is done properly. That. Perfect. I don't think I need any, any bodies or anything like that, so I'm just going to play Snapcaster and start attacking them. We're literally just going to play this as a body and beat. And now we should be able to win fairly quickly. Quickly for our deck, at least. How many more counters? I think they own. This is the turn, right? It's going to go off this turn. Oh, no, not yet. We still have a little bit of time. I need to get one more island. Pull up Temple. Let's go get another island. This will help us figure out what we need next turn. Or, I mean, this will get us the second blue source. And uh, so we continue our game plan. As we were. Pass. Actually, you know, we'll cast Opt. Maybe we do find the land. Perfect. I'll take that on top. Play. It wouldn't have mattered if I said leave, like, you know, move that to the bottom because let's be honest here, they're going to be able to do pretty much everything they want to. All right. So I don't know if I want to give them the mana here. So we're going to go ahead and pop. Uh, what was on top? Wear and tear. They pack this turn. I'm in trouble. Yeah, sure. I have nothing for this. Doesn't matter. Wear and tear doesn't allow me to do anything. So I have to kind of hope they don't draw anything good here. It's three mana total on top, but they don't have anything that's three mana, which is a problem. That's six mana on their half right now. All right, cool. So I can blow up this Lotus Bloom or I can try to gain control of it. What did they do there? They put both or let me see, puts two cards on the top of their library. They like what they have. All right, let me see here. So that's just where that I need, right? Destroy target artifact. What was on top? Misty. Okay, so that doesn't work. But we do get a free spell. So we nab all their important stuff. They can't pack to negation me. It's cool, Pass. Having access to the Misty on top of our library right now is exactly what we want because then they can't pact, and that's huge. That is actually huge. That is three, two, sun. Uh, you know, I'm gonna just counterspell this, right? Because, oh, if they play land here, I'm in so much trouble, but I feel like they need the mana. So if I just keep them off their mana rocks, I know they can't pact me back. I also see what they're trying to do. They're trying to play to the clock here, make me play everything out, which is fair, totally fair and reasonable. Uh, let's put Lurus into hand. So now we should be able to kind of fight back, right? We wait till next turn, we play Lurus, we put Brainstone, we lock them out. They're currently short mana, this is great. And they can't pack here because they lose the game if they do. Oh baby, yeah. Oh baby, yeah. That's the stuff. Um, Snapcaster Mage, that's a two mana spell. I'll counter that, sure, why not? I've got nothing else to do, right, for the turn, so we'll just go ahead and counter that. And now I can play Brainstone. And now they're down to 10. So the clock speeds up again. They know we have a two drop on top. Loris on board now, so they have to answer Loris. And as the two drops on top, Thassa's Oracle can't resolve, so GG's. Heck yeah, a lock. Mulligan. Okay, this we keep. Uh, what do we not want here? Like a land? Yeah, we're gonna put a land to the bottom here. Let's go ahead and keep that. All right, this seems pretty dece. Uh, do I shock in? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, it's their turn. That's why. All right. Oh, it's some kind of... Is it a discard deck? The, uh... Oh, boy. Can I actually allow them to keep up their shenanigans? I don't know if I can, actually. So I'm probably just gonna pass. Like, I, I am worried about genuinely just dying from them, like, discarding, like, 50 cards this turn. Okay. Now we have to make sure, I hope, if they play whatever that two mana discard spell is, we end up not discarding our, our counterbalance. That's going to be pretty big for us. I mean, I can't counter that, but yeah, sure, it resolves. So they have the cookbook, so how do I beat them here? Are they going to pop off and, like, create a food? Sure. What does this do whenever uh, your turn? Go ahead and just try to get rid of it then. I mean, I got to get rid of the, the adept. I think the adept is more of a problem here. I don't have any creatures, so I don't know if I care that much yet. I'm going to play counterbalance and I'm going to pass. And I have no clue if anything's going to work against them. I mean, uh, sure. Nope. So it's Castle Vantress. All right. So we threw a Brainstone away, which isn't too big. This also messes up my, my draw, like my counterbalance. So sure. Nope. It's another counterbalance. Okay. We've got to draw like Terminus or something like that. I think that's six damage coming in next turn. I'm down to 15 right now. They can't play any two drops, but I don't know if they have any. I think the, the sweet spot for us is one and or zero and one for this opponent. Uh, do I want to play, do I want to play Misty here so I get to potentially get another shot at something here? Yeah, okay, I'll just play Misty. Like I get another shot at, at potentially revealing another, another CMC in case the first one fails. Benjavine will be a problem. I don't think we have a single four drop. They're going to want to draw to, you know what, I've, I've got to crack my fetch land here. Oh boy. Let's put back 
Two counterbalance. I mean, I love counterbalances, but I think I might be counterbalance flooded. All right. I guess I could at least Snapcaster blow something up next turn, like as Mordecai. No, this isn't going to work. They, they already have everything they need, right? So at least I only take four this turn. I can block the Rootwalla next turn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're going off again. Wow, three Street Wraiths. Okay, what if I just killed them with a creature? All right, so I take six again. I don't think I can snap block either because they'll have the activated ability, sacrifice two foods. We know we have two counterbalances. I could steal as Mordecus. Oh boy, this is such a bad spot. Okay, yeah, I guess this is the line, right? I mean, I have to hope that I can snap block or something like that because I'm not going to survive. So this is, this is a bit of a pickle. As Mordecai's actually being able to blow something up with all that food is kind of a problem here. I guess Snapcaster's path is like two separate things here. So yeah, okay, sure. No, wait, it's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same, no matter what I do. Yeah, I guess the line is to Snapcaster, path the ox or try to path the ox. Yep, there it goes. Uh-huh. They get to play it again in a few turns, but I don't know. What, what am I supposed to do? I guess they don't have two food, so that's not too bad. We're down to, we're down to exactly two here, so they can kill us very quickly. They wanted two here, so we're, we're hoping we get a little lucky on the next draw. I mean, the next draw is, is counterbalance, but oh, no. Yeah, they got it. No, we know what's on top. It's not going to work. Um, okay, what's the out here? Snapcaster won't do anything. I could steal with Asmorticus, but then they'll just be able to like, oh, there's my dog, one second. Uh, hmm. I think that's it. Can't do anything, so we just kind of sit and wait. We hope we could steal As Asmo, block the root walla, hope they don't have a way to discard. Oh, no, wait, they do, because as long as they have the food, it's over. No matter how I do this, let's go to the next game. Okay, what do we have for graveyards? We have... I do like Chalice here. Chalice is pretty nice. Uh, I do want to blow up their cookbook. Uh, what else do I need? I think I think this is fine. Probably drop a bobble. Archmage's charm seems a bit expensive here and probably not going to happen. Right, like, am I putting it on zero? That seems kind of bad. Uh, actually, no. Hold on. So if I put on zero, all right. I hope this works a lot better this time because that was a rough matchup. Maybe we just wait to use the bobble. All right, they're back. Let's get this started. We're going to go ahead and play bobble. I think I'm going to just play bobble just in case they play something like a, to make us like discard or draw something in discard. I don't know. All right, so they're going to play scalding tarn. Are they going to have a, an awesome turn one again? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and opt here. Field of Rune, that's another land, so that's nice. And it blows up one of their lands. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep the land. All right, we're gonna play counterbalance here. I could probably look at the top of my own deck here. All right, can they like pop off this turn and like summon or I mean discard like 50 cards here and cycle through their deck? I don't know. I mean, they've discarded their card. So as Mordecus or Asmo's like live, we know Brainstone's on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, use my counterspell that, or my uh, counterbalance there. Uh, we can, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and play Field of Ruin. Play Brainstone Pass. I don't think I need to do anything else right now other than just hold up mana. Counterspell whatever they're going to try to blow up my enchantment with. Let's put this back on top plus another Brainstone. Now we've got all the mana we could ask for. So let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Play Brainstone. And let's go and uh, Asshole Vantress in case our hand gets discarded somewhere along the way. We need to get a, a free spell off the top here. Uh, that's fine. We know what's on top of our deck. We know what's exactly on top of our deck. It's Terminus. Yep, yep, you got it. I'm at 17 right now, so we're currently okay. It's a miracle! Unfortunately, I'll have to spend two mana for this because of the way I, I tapped my mana, but, uh, yes? What's next for us here? I want to probably see if I can brainstorm something else away or brainstone. Uh, this isn't so bad either. I don't know if I care about this. We'll use the top. Oh, wow. It's a free, it's a free counter spell. I'll keep the path. That seems good. Now let's put Luris into hand and we'll go ahead and pass. We'll get like Rogren Triome or something like that. Or, you know, I can get a planes so I don't have to like spend a ton of my health here. Now we play Counterbalance, or we play Luris. Actually, yeah, let's just, let's just play Luris. All right, and we're gonna play Luris. That would lock them out, so we go to the next game. That was pretty good, actually, holy cow. That was exactly what I wanted to do against them. Uh, we had removal, brainstone, we had everything we needed there, holy cow. And with the fact that they have the five-dropped hollowed one, yeah, wear and tear's got some, some play to this match. Prismatic ending, sure. 
Oh, wow. They took my only blue source. That's backbreaking. Okay, now we got to pass. Well, we got to keep counterbalance or a counterbalance. Y'all, uh, let's take a look at what you've got. Flame Blade Adept. All right, so they have another Flame Blade. Uh, what are they doing here? All right, they're fetching. So they don't have a Flame Blade next turn. It's mystery time. Brighter side that we do have Brainstone right now. Uh, get lucky. It's Brainstone. What do we throw away there? Oh, Omen? Oh, wait, no, hold on. That's only them. Okay, so we took four there. Painful. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Go ahead. I, I, I could have actually played one more thing as I think about it, but I could have played either Brainstone or something else, but uh, it's fine. I'll take the Flooded Strand. That seems really good. All right, now we pass. Again, I still could have played another Brainstone. Oops. Oh, I guess this I get to use Omen of the Sea instead. Ox. Oh, man. Well, I can't do anything about that. Do I have a five drop in this deck? I'm thinking here. Do I have a five? Do I have a five? I don't have a five. I think I only... I top at it three. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so they knew they were never going to cast anything there. That feels good. Uh, what do I want to put back here? Let's put a fetch land back. Wait, you know what? This is not that bad. Yeah, let's put fetch land back. Uh, all right, perfect. So that's gone. That's dealt with. Let's not make the same mistake again. Let's play Brainstone again. Let's play Island and let's pass. So if they get somehow get that Vengevine back, we'll have an answer for it. Uh, if it if I get a free one, sure. Misty means no free spell from the opponent. Right, we, we actually knew about the free spell there. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Uh, no, the Misty's gonna happen one way or the other. We're gonna draw the Misty. I could have probably played Flooded Strand or should have played Flooded Strand. Ah, uh, I can use the mana right now. No free spells for them. No one drops, no nothing. That's what we need here. Okay, so we drew Misty. They know about Misty. Okay, now we pass. We're going to take a, a bit of damage here. We're just going to take... It's not really that bad, actually. It's only like two damage. Um, This can only be used once a turn. That also doesn't feel too bad. Snapcaster Mage. Okay, this is fine. That's four damage from the opponent. That's six damage. That is a lot now. All right, let's do something here. Let's, let's change something up. We probably got to counter that. All right, there we go. They draw a card. Let's see how this works out for us now. I don't know if I want them to have two of those. Plus, they just pop two of their own creatures, which is good news for us. We have a one drop, and it looks like we win. Despite finishing with two wins, three losses, did this not feel great? This is like peak magic to me. Yes. We got blind flips, we got lucky, we got destroyed, we experienced every emotion we could on this ride. Uh, and no matter what though, it was always sweet just because we got to play counterbalance. Now, of course, the games where we didn't have counterbalance, we didn't do too hot, but that just tells you how good the card is. Uh, and you know, with Brainstorm and all that, maybe maybe this is, uh, we're, we're onto something. Good job, Funk. Congrats on the five and zero on your end. Uh, you know, my condolences to myself, I guess, uh, on the two and three, but I do think the deck could potentially get there. We just need to fix a few things. Uh, maybe some still have a way to have more graveyard hate like soul guide lantern uh, or, or maybe yeah, yeah like soul guide lantern would be huge because we can reoccur it with like Luris and all of that and more ways to beat burn as burn was really cooking us so uh, thank you so much for watching this video and as always feel free to leave a like a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live on that you can find me at twitch.tv playing magic MMOs horror games whatever it is come hang out come sub come lurk come chat and then lastly you you can find me on social media at the Asian Avenger on Twitter and Instagram. So go give me a follow, go tweet at me, all the sweet deck lists, all the ideas, whatever. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, until the next video, have a good one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.